I'm going live again. Hey, going live again, Jay. Well, welcome back. I told you it won't be long. Thank you for joining us for our second stream of the day. To find, uh, I need to change all our uh, results and what's it screens and everything. So, welcome along. This is the four-wheel drive section of the Pirelli Welsh Championship. And first into view should be Elliot Payne. <laughs> Using all the road and more four-wheel drive power in that Fiesta Rally 2, dragging it out of the ditch as, uh, as it uh, monsters its way through this uh, stage here in Kerry. Stage two of the uh, Phil Price Woodpecker Stages Rally 2023. Tom Woodburn, as ever, guiding Elliot through the stages this weekend in the uh, Mango Go. Sponsored Fiesta. I will uh, just need to get the stream up and running so I can see what's going on. Number four, Tech Sport, sponsored car of Aaron Newby and Jamie Edwards. Let's go to Fabio R5. Car and crew going well. You could see a difference between Elliot, though, couldn't you, and, uh, and Aaron? So that was car four. You are obviously the, the eagle eyed of you will have noticed car two is missing, and that's uh, Matt Hurst and Declan Deer. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, whilst giving the car a, a little run and a little shakedown yesterday. They found problems with the engine and uh, unfortunately had to withdraw their entry for this weekend, not wanting to uh, to risk an engine unit in uh, in a Fiesta R5. I can imagine that's uh, not the cheapest of uh, bills when you're paying for something like that to be repaired. So uh, unfortunately, the boys are back home now and uh, having to miss this round of the uh, the Pirelli Wells Championship, which they were uh, edging towards closing out, actually, uh, this weekend. Car three also missing. That's Hugh Hunter, our, uh, our guest on special stage last weekend on the uh, Rally Keridigian. First time back out in the car this weekend, should have been for Hugh. Didn't start this morning, I'll um, I'll find out, I'll, I'll message Hugh shortly and find out what's happened there, if there's uh, any issues or... Uh, Oh, it just didn't come together for him in the end. But, um, yeah, Hugh was due to be back out this weekend with Mark Glenister alongside. Really looking forward to uh, to doing the event and getting some seat time again in that rally too, following his big accident on the uh, the Manx back in May, where, uh, yeah, it was uh, a tough end to the, uh, the Pro Tire um, Championship attack he was planned for the year. So a little bit of a gap now. We're hoping for Perry Gardner next, car five. Here he is, it certainly is. TNT tyres of Ludlow sponsored rally car Ford Fiesta R5 of Perry Gardner and Jack Bowen, uh, a local crew from uh, Ludlow itself. They've got their garage base there with Dad Sean. Running proceedings there, but I'm sure uh, Sean will be. Managing Sun Perry this weekend back in service. It's uh, a name we all know from uh, these part of the world. The gardeners. So 
So next up then should be car seven, and that is Russ Thompson and Steve Link. And they'll be in their, their usual Mitsubishi Evo 9. Carry some good speed, this car can. It's a good chuck, has to throw it around a lot, but uh, get some good performance from that uh, that car. Relatively, uh, let's say, mature car now. It's, uh, it's been around a while, it's not quite historic, is it? But um, yeah, it's... Um, in the right hands, it can still be driven very well, as uh, as Russ shows. Alistair Ginley, Craig Thorley up next in their Rally 2 Ford Fiesta. Rough at the Auto Jumbles of York. Sponsor this car, bright red livery. Going well, sounding glorious, looking good in the sunshine. Next up, another of the Mitsubishi Lancer Evos, this time the Evo 7 of Rob Wilson and Richard Morton Crozier. Our second competitor through in the B13 class. Rounding out, I mentioned in the previous uh, stream, the, the section of stage coming into view here is very rough in places. Um, that was a good line for the boys, tidy as well, that was. Um, very quick. Got the car dialed in there, hooked up well. You just saw that inside wheel cocking as well. On a, you don't tend to see that too much on the four wheel drive, certainly the. Uh, Mitsubishi's, but yeah, it's been a good corner for us, isn't it? It's been quite exciting and uh, still as proud. Yeah, so I was just saying before on the on the previous stream, the cars come off the tarmac, uh, a little link road that comes between the forests. Nice that the uh, organisers are now to close some roads off around these forests to allow the uh, the stage to be extended. So uh, they come off the closed tarmac road into the forest and into this nice long flowing open section but the surface is quite rough in places and uh yeah it must be difficult for the uh sort of the two-wheel drives and the more historic cars that came through earlier these guys won't have any issues whatsoever though ian bainbridge will atkins in their newly acquired volkswagen polo we saw it out uh, last time on the nicky grist but uh, ian uh, making the switch from the skoda nice to see will alongside going well you can see the suspension travel on that polo rocking backwards and forwards under uh, acceleration and braking Great to see. Next up then, car number 11. It's the Mechanical Solutions Limited car of Eddie Lewis and Sean Cuniff. Ford Fiesta R5 that Eddie's been campaigning now for a couple of years. Getting quicker and quicker. The more events he does, it's great to see. Going well, holding some good speed through this tricky little section. So let's just see if I can uh, get the results up for for this stage. Let's have a look, stage and overall. Okay. Overall, 
92 times in for this stage. Obviously, we have the two-wheel drive section. Let's see if we can get any of the four-wheel drive through here. So three cars through in the four-wheel drive so far. We have Elliot Payne leading the... Oh, no, sorry. Perry Gardner leading the way. Elliot Payne is actually five seconds, six seconds slower than, uh, than Perry Gardner through there. So quickest through so far, Perry Gardner. Aaron Newby is uh, second quickest, five seconds off Perry's pace, with Elliot a further second behind. It'll be interesting to see how... Uh, how that continues and if anyone else comes through. So Russ Thompson's just made it through now. Uh, notable drop back for Russ, but obviously different category car altogether in that Evo. Carrying some good speed, nevertheless. He was uh, 14 seconds slower than Perry through this six mile stage. So just uh, while I'm here, just to let you know the uh, quickest Runners in the two-wheel drive class, no surprise. Joe Price, Tom Walster, Richard Jordan, Roger Chilman, Nick Elliott. Is how that panned out. Uh, right, let's have a little flick back to the stream. Facebook's being silly for some reason this morning for me. More people watching down in New South Wales and Australia. It's another rally too. Trying to juggle, juggle two pages on my phone at once. So bear with me as I uh, rifle through the entry list. So Trevor Gamble and Phil Kenny out in the Ford Parts UK. Keldine Auto sponsored Rally 2 Fiesta there. And just before that, we saw Daniel Sigorson and Aster Sigordotti in the uh, Mitsubishi Evo 9 running in B13 class, the uh, Icelandic crew do uh, plenty of events over here. They enjoy the rallying over here. I've uh, known of Daniel rallying in this country now for, for many years. I always remember him coming through the, uh, the Woodyard stage on the Plains Rally many moons ago with a, a great big tannoy outside the, the car. Car 16. That's Steve Pawson and Liam Whiteley in the uh, Subaru Impreza, PC Truck Sales and Rental sponsored car. Going well. Paul Lackerman watching from New Zealand. Love your work, lads. Thank you very much, Paul. Jonathan Santana Kubas is watching from Grand Canary as well. Thank you very much. Pauline Millington. Good luck to Mike Reed and John Millington. They were going really well, Pauline. Uh, Pushing on nicely as well in that uh, stunning Mark II Escort earlier. You've missed him on this stream, I'm afraid, but you will uh, be able to catch him this afternoon. And if you want to watch any of the streams back, feel free. They're on YouTube, Facebook, on the Pirelli Welsh cha uh, Championship page, and also on the Special Stage Facebook pages as well. So plenty of places to, uh, to catch all your favourite uh, guys and girls out on the stages. Another person watching from sunny Spain, this time in Mallorca. Simon Rogers, James Howe in the ex Yari Mati Latvala, Mitsubishi Evolution 6. Adam Ritchie is currently watching from the service area. That doesn't matter, Adam. That's fine. You're watching. It it feels like Mallorca or 
or Gran Canaria here anyway, or New South Wales, to be fair, just it's not quite as nighttime-ish down there. Um, so yeah, welcome along wherever you are in the world watching. Um, we're just as sunny as other places today. We can hold our heads high in this country. It's not raining like normal, so let's make the most of it. I'll be feeling the effects of this tomorrow when I'm trying to run a, a, a children's cricket uh, tournament uh, with sunburn and sunstroke and whatever else I've got going on tomorrow. <laughs> Lack of uh, hydration. Another impressor, this time Martin Andrews and Steve Greenhill in the OP Oil sponsored example. All going well. Unfortunately, uh, we uh, set ourselves up on the planes rally on a, a corner that caught uh, that crew out. They managed to get away with it in the end, but uh, it was quite a clatter into the scenery. Managed to get going again, so they weren't the only ones to do it. Laura Hunter is cheering on Perry. He's going well. Marcus Andrews is watching. Welcome along, Marcus. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you, no doubt, uh, over the next week or so up in Yorkshire. I'm travelling to Yorkshire three times between now and the Track Road Valley Yorkshire, so it's, uh, I'm going to get familiar with this M62 Lark. We're gutting Bob Stokoe. In their iconic, iconic Jeff Jones Motorsport sponsored car. I think I've just swallowed a fly. I didn't fancy spitting it out live. That wouldn't have made for good commentary. So I uh, I did the, the only thing possible and just swallowed it. Beautiful. Doesn't taste anywhere near as good as I was hoping. Next up, Nick Ellsmore and Rob Fagg in the Mitsubishi Evo 9. Now Nick can pedal a car. Uh, Watching him years ago down on the uh, the Forest of Dean, um, he did yeah, basically he he made the road. <laughs> uh, he drove wherever he wanted, as he is doing here as well. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Rob's just had a very close uh, view of the bank in here next to us. Car just bottoming out, you saw the bumper just clouting the uh, the surface of the road as it dipped into this. Uh, a little compression on the uh, on the right hander here. Slid sideways and uh, just uh, gave the little uh, ditch a tickle here, no problems. But yeah, I uh, I remember him. The um, the corner was set up and it was a, a, a wide left 90 left hander um, with lots of space on the inside. And I think Nick just decided that he was going the other side of a log pile and he made his own route basically, but saved himself a lot of time. So uh, fair play. Yeah, always uh, a great competitor to have out, so good to see him and Rob as well alongside. When we were talking about Hugh Hunter earlier, um, Rob was uh, alongside Hugh in the, uh, in the Isle of Man when the accident happened, so it's great to see Rob back out again as well, both guys. I'm not going to say back to full strength, but uh, Hugh's certainly not too far off now. He's, uh, he was out with us, like I say, on Kerry Diggin last week, and uh, we put him through his paces with the microphone. Thoroughly enjoyed himself, it was an absolute blast having him alongside, a pleasure and uh, yeah, it's great to see, you know, he's he's looking well and he's uh, he's uh, just about ready to be back in a rally car, I think. So uh, I'll give you more news on that this afternoon and uh, I'll find out why, uh, why Hugh's not here this weekend, even though he's on the entry list. John Harper, are you covering the Galloway Hills next weekend? Unfortunately, John, no, we're not. We're not out on the Galloway Hills next weekend. Um, I think we've actually got a weekend off. Uh, I've got other plans next weekend away from Motorsport. Ah, yes, no, we haven't got a week off. Three Shires next weekend. Yeah, of course, the crew are down on Three Shires. So, uh, yeah, I've got a weekend away from uh, rallying. But uh, the rest of the special stage team haven't. So we saw Daniel Moss and Samuel Davies through in their wildly coloured stunningly coloured Mitsubishi Lanza Evo 10 just before and then they've just been followed through by Paul Walker and Garant Thomas in the GGM sponsored uh, and Greenpaw sponsored Subaru Impreza 
Jeff Jones Motorsport. Having a busy weekend with uh, preparing all these cars. I know Jeff will be uh, making sure these cars are tip top and ready to go. Fantastic company to be uh, preparing your car and looking after you. Jeff always runs a tight ship. I haven't seen Jeff for a while. Actually, it'll be nice to see him again. Don't tend to get to service too much actually these days. But, um, yeah, if you can hear us. Hi, Jeff. Hope things are well. It's another Impreza. Car 25. Not on our entry list. They've sneaked in. Going well, though. I don't know who it was, unfortunately. Uh, it's not on the... Uh, not on the start list. Unofficial start times. Hmm. According to my start times, he shouldn't have started. Well, he's here and going very well. So uh, I don't know who that was, I'm afraid. Owen Pritchard. Good luck to Kelvin Evans and Thomas Wynne Shakespeare in the little yellow micro. They were going really well this morning. Flying past us, Elwin. So thank you for your shout out. Make sure you join us for this afternoon's live stream. We'll be going uh, live in stage five. Richard Keane, Alan Haywood in their Ford Fiesta, the MSL Motorsport sponsored car. Fantastic campaigner is, uh, is Richard. Owns some uh, Forest Street up near Llyn Alwyn and uh, Llyn Brennig in North Wales. Uh, great testing venue for anyone who's looking to test their cars before, uh, before an event like this. The perfect place to test before the Cambrian. There's a little uh, plug for you. Yeah, great little venue up there. And uh, Richard always uh, super helpful whenever I've been up there. And he's given us lifts round in his, uh, his Land Rover and all sorts. Yeah, cracking family. So thank you very much for everything you've done for us. Helped special stage out over the years. Ahmet Bastas has joined us from North Cyprus. Thank you very much for tuning in. That's wide, that is wide. The forgiving ditch has yeah, he's got away with it. <laughs> I have to say a massive thank you to the uh, the Forestry Commission who've built this ditch. Because this is the best ditch I've ever seen built. It's the most forgiving ditch I've ever seen on a rally. So thank you very much to the Forestry Commission for doing a cracking job of saving a lot of rally cars. It's given us lots of entertainment as well today. That's the uh, at least the third or fourth car that's been properly in the ditch there. Yeah. A few weeks ago it had been full of water, so uh, it's nice that it's nice and dry and they can drive through it. That was Colin Griffiths and Mark Morgan in their Subaru STI. Next up should be Colin Minton and Bonnie Papper. It certainly is. <laughs> Barney Bear expert. Navigating Colin Minton through the stages in the uh, in the beautiful R5 Ford Fiesta. Ask Mr. Woodford if you see him about Barney Bears. He did he discovered Barney Bears for the first time a few uh, a few months ago and uh, it's probably up there with um Clan Crusaders as the most talked about thing. Although if you were joining us last week in Caridigian, it would have been uh, Gilburn Invaders and Gilburn... What was the other one? No oh, someone will correct me in a minute. The Invader and the Genie. Gilburn Genie uh, and the Gilburn Invader that were out last weekend. Great to see those little Welsh cars out on the, uh, on the stage as well. In Wales as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Ian. That's brilliant information. Uh, Lewis Firth and uh, Sean Lapper in Car 25. Thank you for that. That's great. It's not on my interest. So that's really good. Thank you. Um, brilliant to hear. 
Sean Hughes is watching. Welcome along, Sean. Sean, another one of these uh, ERO Motor Club members that's working busy on getting the uh, the road rally up and running next week for the first time in uh, in at least a decade. It's got to be at least 10 years now since that last ran. So, cracking job by all the team up there. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be around to get to it because I was really hoping I would have been, but uh, I'm, I'm telling lies. It's tonight, isn't it? Yeah, ignore me. Everything I've said for the last hour and a half, just ignore me. The, the the ERO Motor Club closed road rally tonight. The Oak Stages is tonight, not in a week's time. I'm getting my weekends mixed up. But um, the thanks are still there, regardless of this week or next. Uh, cracking effort by all the boys and girls in ERO that are going to run that uh, event for them tonight. Matt Pierce and Dude Pierce. It says super impressive, but it was very much a Mitsubishi looking car, that. It was definitely a Mitsubishi, wasn't it then? I'm questioning myself now. Since I've just realised everything I've said for the last hour and a half is a lie. Um, yeah, it certainly is a Mitsubishi. Uh, down as a super impressor on the entry list. It's got slideways wrote down the side of the car in big writing, and uh, they didn't uh, disappoint, did they? Sliding the car through. Nice to be joined by a, a previous BTRDA rally champion, Connor McCloskey. Thank you for joining us, Connor. I'm going to see you back out on these stages. Fantastic driver. Loved seeing him out in the uh, in Pretzel World Car. And this is more like a Subaru Impreza. Now that is Matt Pierce and Dude Pierce in the Subaru Impreza. It was Adam Durston Hillier and Chris Davies in the previous car in the Mitsubishi. I've seen it now. I think I need a reset. I need some liquid, some frozen liquid, just cold liquid, a full reset, and then we'll go again this afternoon. I'll try and get some uh, cars and crews right and dates and stuff right as well. That'll be that'll be a start, won't it? I blame uh, I blame producer Wayne for the barbecue last night. Uh, the uh, the odd beverage was drunk. Let's say, so um, yeah, I'm blaming him for for me getting things wrong this morning. We have three more cars to go according to the entry list. Then, so Rob Aslett, Alan Jones, and then Jeff Cottrell to round things off. One of those three, Alan Jones, Geraint Mills in the Mitsubishi Evo 3. Going well. So, let's have a little look at our plans. to give you a little bit more information on what uh, what's happening so we're uh, we're coming to the end of our first transmission and broadcast this morning uh, as we just tick over into midday now our second stage starts here at Kerry stage six which is going to be just uh, just after quarter past three this afternoon all being well we're going to pack everything up here in a minute and uh, reposition ourselves further in the stage uh, hopefully with another decent view and another decent section of stage that uh, will give us just as much enjoyment as this has and uh, yeah like I say we'll be back live on the live stream from uh, from around about quarter past three with the second running of the two-wheel drive category uh, before we move into the four-wheel drives uh, afterwards and by then the first of the cars will, should be just about heading back to Ludlow for the finish uh, if you want to catch up on any other action from this weekend uh, the second special stage live stream is happening from stage one and four five sorry stage one and five uh, come as a Garwin and you can join Paul Woodford over there 
while we are away setting ourselves up. So that is the last crew due through according to the entry list. We'll bear with us just for a second, see if we can hear anything else in the distance before we cut the stream and we miss a car. Um, however, that was the Cottrell Transport car of Jeff Cottrell and Nathan Crew in their Mitsubishi Evolution 9. So only car missing, as far as I can see, is Rob Aslett in the uh, Impreza. We'll uh, give them a second. And see if anyone appears. But uh, I think that could well be it for this morning's action. So thank you very much for joining us. A big shout out to the Orange Army and, uh, and everybody out here making this event run. Uh, it's been a, a, a good morning's sport, but it needs uh, a lot of people to help us uh, help us enjoy it so big thank you to everyone radio marshals uh, safety marshals security marshals that are uh, out in these forests especially with closed road uh, sections as well um, big thank you and a big shout out to everybody including all the officials uh, and safety crews and rescue crews and anybody else that's out here watching as well so uh, 